When you model parts in Autodesk Inventor, such as this gearbox housing, you create a large number of sketches and features. But what happens if something goes wrong? For example, let's have a look at this sketch. This one actually works quite nicely. We know that because the extrusion that was created from it is complete. And here is that extrusion. What I'm going to do is go to a sketch that's very similar to that, but this one has an error, and I want the software to help me fix that error. So let's go ahead and try to extrude that profile. When I do that, my preview looks very different. What's happening is that it's showing me a surface as output. I want it to be a solid. Now when I try to select the profile, it's not working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Sketch Doctor and see if we can get some help. Already, it's pretty well solved the problem. I can see that large dot is telling me there's an open profile, as there is in the text up above. But let's go a little further and see what else could happen. Going through all the steps, and we can diagnose those five typical problems. And here we see the problem to recover, and we see that open loop, which I know to be the problem. We can continue on. And it would, in fact, try to fix the problem for us. We can highlight or unhighlight the problem. Sometimes it's a little more difficult to see than this one. But let me cancel and quickly fix that problem. Zoom into that corner. And you can see I was a little bit careless creating that line. So I'm just simply going to extend that. Go back to the home view. Now I'm going to try again to see if I can extrude the sketch. And when I do, the behavior is much more like what I expected. And I can go ahead, click OK, and the extrusion is created. Let's go back to the gearbox. We've looked at how we can fix a sketch and create this, this part. But what I want to find out more about the part and some of the properties of the part, I go to I Properties. There are seven tabs, all the way from General to Physical. In summary, we can add in some information. Under Project, th things such as Description, Designer, Engineer, and Date. Under Status, it's currently a work in progress. Any custom that we want to put in, how we want to save the image, and importantly, the physical properties. The material is listed, the density is gathered from the data, and I can see the mass, area, and volume. The mass obviously being an important one as we design this gearbox housing. We've reviewed how to correct errors in sketches and then looked at the properties of the part created from those sketches. Now let's look at how we can format a sketch. We've been using sketches that were formatted using the default line type, color, and weight. We could change the type to construction or centerline, construction for more difficult sketches, and centerline perhaps for a revolved part. Let's conclude by looking at a driven dimension. When I try to add a dimension to a fully constrained sketch, it tells us that it's an over-constraining the sketch by adding this dimension. I'm going to accept it, and it does place the dimension, but it places parentheses around the dimension. That tells me it's a driven or a reference dimension only.